Today I want to do a video about something that was requested quite a while ago and sorry for taking so long who asked me about the V and the tip and I'll show you how to do that but there's a specific order to when you should do that to make the initial read like this very simple you scrape it so that it's very simply straight across vibrates readily and then you remove the bark and the shell from the reed and I think what this does is it helps to get the reed to vibrate right off the bat because making an oboe reed is subtractive synthesis and what we have there is a lot of noise like in a synthesizer if you had a sawtooth wave or something like that a lot of resonance, a lot of frequencies. And what we need to do is to adjust the pitch and then filter out these frequencies. And that's what subtractive synthesis is. You're subtracting, you're taking away from that uh, initial sound uh, of uh, noise, really, or resonance. You're removing certain frequencies. Let's um, continue on with this. What I think needs to be done first is to get the reed to resonate as much as possible before we filter completely filter pitch and the overtones. And how we're going to do that is by getting it to crow a B natural. So it's very low. I'm going to clip it till it crows a B natural, a solid B natural. And it is breaking a little bit, so we'll clip it. Now that's a B natural. And the reason why I do this is because I want to add a lot of resonance to this reed. And the way I'm going to do that is by scraping it in the back. And I think it's important to do this before you make the V in the tip. Okay, so get a sharp knife. And we are going to put a catch in the back here. And this catch is not going to be very deep. But it is going to be there. Because it's important that the reed has a catch in the back. This does a couple of things forces the reed to vibrate toward the front and it adds a lot of resonance in the lower frequencies. I'm not scraping very heavy or very deep but I am putting a catch in there right behind the heart. Nice and even and scrape the surface of the reed. Don't dig one of my issues is too much digging. Now I will curl the reed again and hopefully you'll be able to hear what that did to the reed. Alright. It added a lot of low frequencies to the reed. It helped the reed to bottom out. Now this isn't particularly spectacular looking but it does what I need it to do at this point. You can sort of see the back. I haven't taken a lot out, but there is some taken out. You can see the surface of it. Try to keep it relatively smooth and clean. Now that we have this, 
then we can crow it or clip it till it crows the C. Okay. All right. Still quite low. You can see we're just about out of C. This is what we have. Really nothing spectacular, right? I mean, it's very simply done, but we have the required, what's required of the reed at this point. We have a tip that's vibrating. We have the residence added by the back. We have our heart, and the tip is pretty much straight across, you can see here. Now what we're going to do is filter those vibrations of the tip through the heart. And I'll show you how we do that, but let's just play this thing and hear what it sounds like right now. So it's a little blatty, it's quite blat, it blats quite a bit. Not really a very pleasing tone. Let us do this V. Let's see if we can do this. And this is how I'm going to do it, right in here. I kind of start in the hard area. As you can see. And my scrapes are short and I'm lifting them. And what I'm trying to establish is form at this point. Form before function. There should be definition here. It's really not much, right? It's very little. The knife is sharp. I start back here and I bring it down through the tip. And I'm kind of leaning the, the knife toward the side that I'm scraping. Not a lot's coming off, you see? That's about it. That is not a lot, but it does have an impact. Now, some people prefer to scrape straight through the reed down and through, but I would avoid that until you've established the definition of the tip, because the tip needs to have definition. And other people would s start directly here against the back of the heart and scrape forward, and there again, you're going to define the tip without a blend. And you want to try to get both at this point, right in here. This is how I've been able to do it. I mean, it's this is the way that works for me. Uh, and the easiest and simplest way. And you'll begin to see that there is some definition taking place. That's what we're looking for. There's going to be a little blend area here. And there's going to be a V. And that's going to filter out a lot of those harmful vibrations and noisy overtones that we don't want. We're trying to get rid of We're filtering it through the heart and the resonance of the back. So let's see what we have. So as you can see that's coming along. But it's starting to take shape. Now let's do the other side just like that.
skin, I'm kind of lifting the knife. Very little is coming off. It's like a, like a, a dusting. Okay. Kind of struggle with this side a little more. The weak side. This is what finishing the tip is about. Let's flip it over, see if we can match it. You can see it's right in there, it's not so good, so I'll try to define it a little better. Now it's starting to look more or less like the elbow reed that we want it to look like. As you see, we've put in a definition and some blending at the same time. And as you can see, as I lift, uh, it produces a blend area. Well, you can see the blending right in there. And you can see through. Now let's see what it sounds like. It needs clipping, so we are going to clip it. We will not play it until it's across the sea. Because pitch is the first thing we want to filter. At this point in the read, pitch is more important. Still a little flat, and I wanted it to hold a C. All right, just by clipping it after what we did, you can see that the reed is getting closer to its finished length, where the tone kind of spreads. But it'll sound probably sound a little better. I think some of you would actually consider that pretty close to being finished reed, and it could be. It sounds a bit European, but you know, it has a nice tone to it. It plays well. But we're going to keep refining it. Uh, we just continue to do the same. So this is how you get the V in the tip. It's just refinement of this area. But of course, that's after we did everything else. Right? We got the resonance, we got the pitch. Try not to refine the tip unless the reed is crowing a C. That's very important. The pitch of the reed first, and then the refinement of the tone. This is what we're doing now. And you can see that mostly the refinement is right in this area after the blend. And I just lift very little. Just lifting. And it produces this kind of a dusting effect.
And I will finish off the end of the tip, but I won't focus on the end of the tip because we've already established that it vibrates properly. So we don't really need to do too much more to that. All right, let's have a look. It's coming along nicely. Blend is a little smoother. You can see the definition, but you can also see the blended area. Definition and blend. We're very close to a finished read. So you can see that's the length. I'm going to clip it a little more. Almost to see. I think one more clip, very tiny clip. We'll have it. And that's the way you want the reed to sound when you crow it. It starts off with very little air, but it has a nice high pitched C to it. And that's the sign of a good reed. Then you add the lower octaves as you blow harder. Which usually will tell you that the reed is fairly refined. Okay, so let me clip this. I'm gonna clip it one more time. There we go. It's still a little open for me, but I would probably refine it just a little bit more in this area, in this area, just like we were doing. Yeah, right in here, and right in here. And then uh, if the pitch dropped, I would clip it, and then maybe thin the corners a bit, and you will have a finished reed. I hope this helps you. Good luck.